What's going on YouTube and welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Builds and today we're bringing you a comparison video between two cars and to my right that's the 2024 Volkswagen Atlas and the SEL trim, the new redesigned exterior and interior and we're going to be comparing that to the old body style in the 2023 SE trim. Now we're not focusing on the features themselves rather than the look of the cars themselves, all right? So we're gonna be talking about both differences and some similarities between both cars. But before we do, because it's not a sponsored video and we truly appreciate your guys' support here at our channel, please tap that like button, subscribe to our channel if you truly like our content. Also, if you got something for us to email, here's our email, email us details or request and we could talk details later. A special shout out and a thanks to Nilo Volkswagen here in Sacramento for providing us both of these beautiful cars for this review. Stay tuned, keep watching. We're dropping those MSRP stickers to both cars, the 2024 and the 2023. So you guys get an exact idea of what comes on these cars and the MSRP price on top. Now let's go ahead and talk Volkswagen Atlas. Now let's kick off this video with specs. Now looking at the 2023 Volkswagen Atlas SE with the technology package, not that it really means much in bringing this comparison video over to you guys, but just wanted to let you guys know. Now, what does Volkswagen have in the 2023 that they're getting rid of in the 2024? They literally had the two option engines in which this exact car has the 3.6 liter v6 engine in the 24 valve dual overhead cam naturally aspirated that gives you 276 horsepower with 266 pounds feet of torque with an eight speed automatic transmission now this v6 itself came with an mpg of 23 highway 20 combined in an 18 city with a four wheel drive or four motion all wheel drive okay now, they also had an option of a 235 horsepower, 2.0 four cylinder engine in the 2023 models. But if we do come over to the all new, redesigned, new look of the 2024, we literally have one engine that they come standard in the all 2024 Atlas models, and that is the 2.0 liter four cylinder turbocharged engine that gives you a whopping. 269 horsepower, 273 pounds-feet of torque. A little bit about the MPG is 19 city, 25 highway, and a 21 combined. Also in the four motion all-wheel drive. Now, the 2024's Atlas will come standard in the front-wheel drive, but my best advice to anybody would be to get the all-wheel drive, okay? Comes with the electric power steering, and again, guys, that is what is something different about both cars. Now, they are done away with, or they get rid of the two options of the four cylinder 2.0 and the V6. And they bring out literally the 2.0 four cylinder in almost pretty much the same horsepower as the V6 in the 2024. Okay, now let's go ahead and shut these hoods and bring to you guys the differences in front ends. Okay, and right off the bat, what do we see different is headlights are different to where these are kind of on a horizontal plane the jewel eyes to whereas the jewel eyes are on a vertical plane all right and again the i mean the headlight in general is just redesigned shape and everything okay we left the hazards lights on so you guys get an idea of what the hazards lights look like to where the 2024 has this all new led bar going across the top of that front grille all right and we compare that over to here you just have a little chrome trim piece integrated with that grille okay Volkswagen emblem does not come illuminated to whereas the 2024 Volkswagen emblems, they are now illuminated. That is very cool. Love seeing that at night, letting you know what kind of car you're driving, all right? Now, on the lower side of the bumper covers, yes, there are some similarities in the shapes or the curvature of the cars. You might have different bezel look, but overall, it's kind of similar there, okay? Now, remember, this is SC and this is SEL trim, so take that into consideration. And then again, the curvature of the cuts in that lower side are pretty much similar, just different look and shapes on that lower side grill. But the material and that matte black plastic look with that kind of matte gray is still there, okay? Now moving over to the sides, same exact dimensions, length, width, and height. Starting with length is about 201 inches. Uh, width is about 78 inches and height is about 70 inches. 
Now, they are exactly pretty much the same in dimensions. Dropping down over to the wheels, we are going to be seeing new rims coming over to the 2024 models and trims. Take that into consideration. We know all manufacturers do this. It's to where different trims come with different tires or sets of wheels and things of that sort. Now we see them different coming over from the 2023 over to the 2024. Suspension system, pretty much in that kind of uh, standard shock strut suspension, matte black wheel wells. Coming over to the side mirrors, not much has changed over to the side mirrors. Automatic foldable side mirrors, integrated blinker lighting, went matte black plastic, and um, they do come with blind spot assist and heated. Keyless fob entries, the doors themselves with trims pretty much look the same in the rocker panel area. You might see a chrome trim added here and there because it's a higher trim or the SCL. Up top, you have your roof rails in both from the 2023 over to the 2024 with your windows wrapped in that chrome trim. Body lines or angles are pretty much similar or the same in the curvature of the angles. Wanted to let you guys know that. Which brings us now over to the rear end of both cars. Now the 2023, this is the old body style. Looking at the SEV6. These are your old rear tail lights in that LED. We left the uh, lights on the LED lighting with the kind of chrome trim going under to whereas if we come over to the new 2024 look, they literally add kind of an extended tailgate look here and they extend that LED bar all the way across that tailgate with an illuminated emblem, but in the same color as that rear tail light in that red. That is a very cool feature and characteristic to have on the rear side of this exterior, okay? Atlas and that chrome trim going across. Now this is kind of similar where they have that chrome trim. They just kind of dropped or put that LED bar right above that. Cameras above the license plate on both cars. And the bumper covers themselves are pretty much exactly the same, all right? So the covers themselves to the exhaust, the exhausts are under the car themselves, okay? So the tips are here, but this is just kind of for the look of it making it look like it's a little bit sporty or you know you got an exhaust but bumper sensors and parking reflectors still integrated if we come over to the old side again same exact look as mentioned towing capacity when properly equipped in the all-wheel drive or the v6 you get 5,000 pounds of towing capacity so they literally kept that the same coming across 2023 over to the 2024 right now let's go ahead and jump real quick inside the cargo area to where because of the dimensions they're literally exactly the same. When the third row seats are up, you get 25 cubic feet of cargo area. When that third row seat is down, about 55.5 cubic feet of cargo area. And then when both rows are down, you get a whopping 96 cubic feet of cargo space, all right? So that is a lot. Whatever you wanna throw back here, skis, snowboards, dishwasher, I have no idea why you would, but I can attest for that. You can throw dishwashers back here or dryers or whatever. All right, you have a lot of room if you're heading up to the mountain in that four motion all wheel drive. Throw your skis and your snowboards or your mountain biking and all that stuff. You have the space, right? Let's go ahead and lift this full size spare tire right under this mat, okay, with your tire situation going. All right, let's go put that down. 12 volt outlet. You have the soft yellow lighting to where as the new lighting comes in that kind of LED lighting. And then you got some cu cubby area on the right and left of both sides of this car. Now, if we go over to the new 2024, pretty much similar or the same. You get the full size spare tire with your hitch in the 2024. Cubby room right and left, 12 volt outlet there on the driver's side. Again, and the seats are pretty much 50-50, dropping them by these belts here and here near the shoulder area, you can drop these seats, okay? Now, the difference is that these lighting, the lighting here is that kind of true light lighting, right? That's very nice. All right, so we're pretty much done with the differences and similarities of specs, exteriors, and cargo areas. Let's go ahead and show you guys the interiors. Now sitting in the 2023 Volkswagen Atlas and get a load of this interior. Now, there is major differences from the 2023 over to the 24. And I can't even pinpoint just one point because there are so many differences, even with the dashboard area, completely different. Infotainment screen, eight inch to where the new ones come 12.3. 
the cluster itself. The new one is fully digital to where as this has your fuel gauge and your temperature gauge and kind of that manual look. Also, the door panels are slightly different. The center console with the temperature controls completely different to where these are manual controls in the new uh, 2024 are touch sensitive everything, okay? Along with your USB-C positioning, 12 volt, your wireless charging pad, your cup holders are bigger in the 2023 to where they might minimize the 2024 cup holders. The shift lever is completely different in the 2023 compared to the 2024. And then you literally your drive mode knob different in the 2023 compared to the 2024. Okay, so we're going to be showing you guys that seats. There are some similar or similarities in the seats. The look, they kind of kept that same Volkswagen look right in the electric controls, perforated leather, uh, not too uh, busy going on with the seats. But we're going to be showing you guys that in the 2024 right up top. You got your manual controls for that sun visor and also for that tilt and slide sunroof option. To whereas the new 2024, yes, they still have that glass going over to the second row and the sun visor, but the buttons themselves are completely touch sensitive in the 2024. All right. So now this is what you get on the 2023. Let's go ahead and show you guys a quick look on the second and third row seating inside the 2023 so we can finally get over to showing you guys what the new 2024 looks like. All right, so second row seating in the 2023 Atlas. Now upgrades or changes are at minimal and what do we see that's different being from 2023 to the 2024 and that is the touch sensitive button here, the reading light up top to whereas the 2024 you have a touch sensitive, here you have a manual button, okay? That's pretty much what we kind of see different coming over from the 2023 over to the 2024. Now, leg room again, dimensions are completely the same. So I'm about six feet, two inches, completely there on the head clearance and the leg clearance on the second row seating. All right, now same look coming over from the front to the back. We get the armrest from the 2023, 24, similar armrest. Now, if we go ahead and show you guys with our Naked Drink, if you guys do like the Naked Drink itself, it is a very healthy option. My best advice to anybody is drink this before you drink a soda or something with high fructose corn syrup. Now, this drink itself here, now it will fit in one cup holder, but they kind of minimize the cup holders, the second or the third one. So that's something to take into consideration. That is similar, but the bench complete is pretty similar from 2023 to 2024. Try and zone climate control. All right, not much has changed here with the push inverter 115 volt. Not much has changed with the USB C plugins, okay? Pockets, similar door panels with the sun visors, similar as well, okay? So that's second row seating. Let's go ahead and jump onto the third row. Bunny hop this forward, all right? If we go ahead and bunny hop that forward. There you go. And we go ahead and pop that, whoop, throw those seating up, just like that. We got some space. Now, third row seating is pretty much literally, literally the same, okay? So not much has changed on the third row. You got your USB-C plugins on the 2023, cup holders, cubby room, all right? your vents here on the C pillars, same exact on the that side. One thing to take into consideration is that they drop the USB-C plugs only on the driver's side, all right? No USB-C on the passenger side. So that's your third row seating. Now that we're pretty much done giving you a quick look on the 2023, let's go ahead and jump inside the 2024 and bring that to you guys. All right, now sitting in the all new 2024 Volkswagen Atlas and get a load of the new look. Remember I mentioned to you, I can't even pinpoint one thing that's different because a lot is different with the dashboard, the inlays, the trims, get a load of the shape and they increase the size of the dashboard it looks like. It's just very nice, heads up display, full digital cockpit cluster screen. There is no manual look there all right that is very cool the door panel itself like i would say some similarities but again 
slightly different with the inlays and trims and the perforated leather on that door. Steering wheel is similar, but majority of the difference is what we're going to see is the center console, the shift knobs, the infotainment screen, the climate controls, all this is completely different. Very cool. Now let's go ahead and bring that to you guys. If I go ahead and open up this, you get your USB-C, that is similar, okay? But differences is this pocket area, the cup holders, and your shift knob, right? You don't have that knob here anymore. For your modes on the car, the shift knob is nice, clean, and minimal. Here, that little, we go into reverse or drive, very convenient to where instead of having that big old shift lever, go ahead and open up this cap. Again, differences in shapes and placements of your USB-Cs, your wireless charging pad. And right under that, we have the tunnel or the bridge area, which opens us up to a whole lot of room here, okay? now. Climate controls, touch sensitive panel here for your mode. Instead of having a little mode knob, you get the mode there and look, you get that. And you can also set each mode here, steering, drive terrain, engine sound. You can customize your modes by that, all right? Now we go into climate, that is your climate control, instead of having all those knobs and buttons here. So they literally minimize the look, giving it more of a cleaner and bougie look the assist for your driving and then your parking or your cameras, all right? Let's go ahead and click out of that, go back home. The interface itself, very responsive, touch sensitive, all right? You can make that full navigation screen. Look at that, all right? Come back to this, click on that, get that full navigation. 12.3 inches, I mentioned that the old one was eight inches. This is a very, uh, whole lot bigger, um, screen that we did have. Now I turned on my heated seats, but let's go ahead and put my cold seats on. I'm a dork, but yeah, cold seats because it's kind of hot here in uh, Sacramento. But overall, this is what we're getting different. All right. All this space now, along with the cluster. Now you do have a partial digital cluster in the 2023 or it's majority digital in the 2023 to where here you can customize views. Let's go ahead and click out of that. Customize that view, all right? Or we go in for your info cards and we wanna display our info cards here on the right or the left. We'll go to average speed and then we'll go to the left and give a fuel tank display. And we can literally customize all of that, all right? Paddle shifting, the shift levers, I mean, not shift levers, sorry. The levers for your windshield wipers and your signal lights here. Your touch sensitive, this is what we're gonna see different also as well, is that control unit, the touch sensitive control unit for your defrosters, front and rear, and then your lighting, all right? That is different as well. Up top, remember I mentioned to you guys you had all those manual buttons here? Again, touch sensitive. If I go ahead and slide, that sun visor starts to close. I could go ahead and stop that and then open up that tilt and slide roof, sunroof option. Close that. All right, one thing that's very cool also on the 2024 that I want to show you guys kind of as a super cool feature you have is the hand motion. You can literally change screens by just swiping your hand. That is super cool. You could turn that on and off if you don't like it. Now, again, I mentioned that the cup holders were smaller on the 2024. Again, relative to size of the naked drink here, the green machine, all right? Let me know what you guys think. I do think it's a um, decent size cup holder because a lot of European manufacturers do not give you big cup holders in the cars, okay? Now, something that is also similar is this pressure sensor that you get on these windows that maybe you have a dog sticking its head out the window or your kid has its hit their hand out the window. Now we're pretty much done with the front side. Let's go ahead and show you guys second and third row seating. So second row seating, again, not much has changed or upgraded, but this touch sensitive lighting here, go ahead and shut that off and touch that back on, all right? But overall here at the climate controls, similar, and then your inverter in the 115 volt with your USB-Cs, pocket similar, your armrest with the cup holders, again, 
relative to size. If you do have a smaller or tighter drink, like an Izzy, it will secure that drink better than just having a big cup holder, okay? Close that. Seats is a 60 percenter and a 40 percenter, and same exact way to control these seats. You got the lever here in the front, the lever here on the lower elbow area, and then the up top shoulder area where you can bunny hop this seat forward and it opens up to you that third row seating area which you get a whole lot of room coming back here. Let's go ahead and bunny hop that. Now, that's what it looks like back here. Same exact things with the cup holders, USB-C's, cubby room, seats is the 50-50 and this is the way the arm, I mean the headrest goes up. Put that back down. But again, touch sensitive lighting back here as well. Okay, you can turn that off too. That's something that's different from the 2023 over to the 2024. But overall, we're pretty much done, guys. Let us know if you have any comments, questions, concerns in the comment section below. Here's the MSRP stickers as promised. Here's the 2023 MSRP stickers, so you guys get an idea of what exactly comes on it with the price on top. And here's the 2024 MSRP sticker. If you guys want a more in-depth review video of the 2024, other than this quick comparison video, check out our other video with regards to the 2024 Atlas review. Thanks guys for watching our channel. Remember, tap the like button, subscribe to our channel here at Vagabond Builds. We appreciate your guys' support. God bless you.